Welcome back. We're now going to have a time of prayer. And just before we pray, I just want to say that quite often people say to me that um, they would like our prayers, but they don't want their name to be mentioned. So I will give some opportunities for silence when you can remember people who uh, you know who are needing our prayers at this time. But I may also name some people just by an initial. So let us pray. Loving Father, we want to give you thanks. We want to give you thanks for the Bible, for the inspiration that comes to us through the Bible, for the way that you direct and inspire our lives, for the way that you speak to us through its words. And we want to thank you also for our ability to meet together, either in person or through this technology online. We thank you, Lord, for one another. We acknowledge that we need one another as we need you. Lord, we thank you for the protection that many of us have received from the COVID virus within the Land Valley Benefice. And we pray for those for whom there is still great anxiety, that there are problems about work and finance, or that there are physical problems with health from the virus. Lord God, look down on with your mercy upon us. Care for us, protect us, heal us, strengthen us. Enable us to live our lives. Lord, we particularly pray for, for Val and in Ulcombe and her daughter Eleanor, who's in South Africa, and has COVID and can't get back because of it. Lord God, bring your healing, we pray, and bring your peace as well to both Val and to Eleanor and to the whole family. Lord God, overrule in this situation, we pray. Lord, we pray for all of those for whom we are aware who need your healing or your special touch at this time. And I'm going to have a moment of silence when we can name in our hearts or out loud those people whom we're aware of who really need to receive your goodness at this time. And Father, I name Tony and Billy and Margaret and Elise and Paul and Jay, as well as Val and Eleanor. And I pray for those in our long-term prayer list as well. Rob and Hazel and David and Pat and Anne, Margaret and Colin and Carol and Christine, Jill's mum, Joyce, Kay and Alan, Helen, Jerry, Richard, Jean's daughter Marcia, Jan's daughter Rachel, Rosemary and Peter and Irene. Lord God, you know each of us by name and you love us. Lord God, bring your healing, we pray. Bring your care and your love. And we pray also for those who are bereaved and who need to know your loving touch at this time. Father, we pray for the churches in our benefice. We pray that you would unite us and build our trust. We pray that you would help us to be outward looking at a time when everything about the situation seems to make us protective and inward looking.
and we pray about the Diocesan Missionary Fund, which we hope to receive from the diocese for work within our benefice. And we pray that we would soon hear from the diocese and that that money would be released to us. Lord God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The Collect for today, Bible Sunday. Merciful God, teach us to be faithful in change and uncertainty, that trusting in your word and obeying your will, we may enter the unfailing joy of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And I'm going to end with a blessing that was used last Sunday by Bishop Rose in the in Canterbury Cathedral as part of the Living Wells service. And it really, really struck me. Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted, support the weak, help the afflicted, honour everyone, love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father and Son and Holy Spirit, be with you and remain with you and those whom you love now and forevermore. Amen. God be with you this day and this week. Amen.